Welcome back to my travel vlogs. Today we're about to head to the market in the, like the, uh, we're heading to the marketplace where the local Greek people of Portorafti shop. So it's not just like a touristy spot. So it's gonna be um, a very, very culture experience, cultural experience. We've just got out of Greek class. So we're gonna try to be practicing some of our Greek. I may try to film myself attempting to purchase something. I don't know how well that will go. But yeah, I'm just gonna take you along with me. If you haven't been following these travel vlogs, check them out. I will put the playlist in the description box and probably link the videos somewhere around here. If you're new, check those out. If you are a subscriber, check them out. If you haven't seen them, subscribe and stick with me through this video and experience Greek culture. Outfit for today. So I figured it out. You're supposed to get onions. Got onions. <laughs> successful first market trip what do y'all think Woo! hey guys what's up as you saw earlier in the video I went to the marketplace that we had we have like a farmers market that comes every Friday I think to a town Marco Polo one of our classes we had to we got a piece of paper and we had to figure out what the Greek word was on the paper that we had to buy and we had to buy how like the amount it told and I had to buy a kilo a kilo of onions, which was easy once I figured, well, it wasn't easy, but once I figured out what the word was, I knew what to look for, but it took me forever to figure out what food I was buying. Ordering in Greek, yeah, Greek is just a lot harder than I thought, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm learning it. The point of what I'm filming right now, I want to do of what I have noticed that's different between Americans and, what's, and then p Greek people. I've been in Greece for, a week and like three days but some things that I have noticed there's no like road rules whatsoever you drive however you would like also when we were in Cyprus which this isn't like really Greece but in, when we were in Cyprus, they drive on the left hand side of the road kind of like in England so I wasn't used to that but that was really cool because it's just different I, the thing that is like the most annoying about drive air drive ears about drivers here is they park on top of the sidewalk like not even one tire up on the sidewalk like their entire car is on the sidewalk I don't know why I guess there's not really like parking room on the roads people just decide to park there so that's probably why they park on the sidewalks but it makes it really annoying for runners and walkers 
because there's no room to walk on the sidewalk so you end up walking on the street. Also, what I've noticed just personally is that Greeks sound really loud when I'm walking by them and they're in conversation. I kind of got that from my big fat Greek wedding. I don't know if you've ever seen the movie, but they seem really loud. We talked to our Greek teacher about this because she lives here, she's a local. And she said that they're not screaming at each other. It just kind of sounds like they're being loud, but that's just normal, like engaging conversation. Another thing, I don't know if it's just where I am, like I'm in a small town compared to like Athens or something, but life just seems a bit more laid back. Like it's a little more slowed down than I guess you'd say American life. People just take more time to talk to others, to get to know others. Everyone has a siesta, so everything shuts down at a certain time in the afternoon and everyone goes home and rest or takes a nap or <laughs> that's what we need every day. They do, they do it right. I think that's all I can think of right now because I haven't really been here that long. Um, oh, I guess one more thing, the bread. <laughs> the bread's amazing here. The bread that we've been having it every day is freshly baked and there's only like three ingredients in it. Like it's not full of a bunch of junk like it is in America. And I get bread every day that's that's full of good stuff and it tastes, tastes so good. But yeah, I'm really, really enjoying the food here. Other than that, I don't think there's anything else. I'll report to you in like a month or so, see if I pick up anything else. That's kind of part of our cultures class and part of our Greek language class is to be observing locals and observing the culture and picking up on, you know, different gestures they do. Oh, I do know that this is different. We sometimes will count like this, we'll be like one, two, three, whatever. That's offensive here. A Greek teacher told us Greeks always count palm of their hand facing the person. So one, two, three, which is how I count, but I know in America some people count like this. If you're enjoying my vlog so far, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I hope you feel welcome on this channel. I hope that my videos inspire you and you get joy out of watching them because I get joy out of making them. Thank you to my people that are subscribed and yeah. What are some things that you know are different about Greeks than Americans? Let me know in the comments and once you say them, maybe I'll notice and I'll pick up on that and I'll report back to you. I'm just gonna end this vlog here today. We're not doing anything else. We have chapel tonight and we have a quiz that I'm supposed to be studying for right now. Nothing else exciting going on today, but we've got Rome coming up. So that's really exciting. You'll definitely come along with me for that. So stick around. Don't want to miss that vlog. I will see you guys in the next video.